came across this little problem where the beat is getting attracted to the bouncer, to the octopus. Guys, this is the octopus. It's going up. All right, guys. So we are done with this one, but we do have a little problem. get attracted to the bouncer to the octopus now let me update you about the B situation what happened so we was getting ready to leave you know I'm gonna rewind everything for y'all guys we was getting ready to leave the second appointment which was the octopus the B situation the lady paid me she gave me the contract she signed everything Next thing you know, we hear one of the kids crying. And I was like, oh, I hope somebody didn't get hurt. And turns out that one of the bees stung one of the little kids. Now, when I was installing a bouncer, I only seen like two or three bees flying around, but it wasn't that crazy. Now, the customer already knew they had a bee problem at their yard, but they did not think that it was gonna get that bad once I had already installed the bouncer. So somehow the bouncer attracted the bees because after the kid got stung in the face or whatever, I went to check the bouncer. All right guys, so we are done with this one, but we do have a little problem. Now, uh, we still had to drop off the other bouncer. It's already scheduled in a few minutes. Check this out. Somehow the bouncer is attracting all these bees and they're all around. Now the kids had, were already jumping earlier and one of the kids got stung. Look at it. There, it's a whole bunch of bees just going like crazy. And the customer said that normally they be around this area, but it just doesn't get too crazy. And they are going inside the bouncer. So, I told him, I, if, if he wants to, I'll come back and move it, move the bouncer. But I just can't move it right now. There's too many bees, though. Look at that. Too many bees. Look at that. Oh. They almost hit me. So I'm going to call them back, and I'm going to see if they need help. And I'm just going to help them out, move the bouncer, guys, so they can have fun. But let's go to the next appointment. And it turns out the whole gang of bees came inside the bouncer. I'm like, it's like it took two bees to call the whole gang. And the bouncer was not for the bees. It was for the kids. So they took advantage of that, guys. And... Um, the customer asked me, hey, Tony, is it okay if you can move the bouncer to the other side where there's no bees over here? Now, like I said, they already knew that they had a bee problem, but they also didn't think it was going to get that crazy. Now, they put me in a situation where I had to decide real, real fast. Do I go ahead and move the bouncer and be late for the last appointment and make my business look bad? Or do I just go ahead and take care of the bound of the next appointment? I had to make a quick decision, guys, and I just told her, look, it's only eight minutes apart. I told her, look, if you want to, you can wait. Let me go install, let me go 
take care of the next appointment. It's only eight minutes away. It's around the corner. Let me take care of that because that's my next event. It's already scheduled. And then once I get done, I'll come back and move the bouncer. She said, well, can you show me how to move the bouncer? We can move it ourselves. Normally, I don't let nobody move my bouncers. So this is the first time that I actually give permission to somebody to move my bouncer. And her husband came out and I show, show him what he had to do to move the bouncer to the other side. Like I said, I don't feel safe. Uh, I don't let nobody move my bouncers because of the safety reasons. You know, I feel much better that I install it myself because I, I'm, I'm the type of person that doubles check my work all the time. Ain't no telling if they miss something or they didn't tie it right and then somebody can get hurt. You want, you want to avoid that. You know, I had a few other customers also ask me, can we pick it up so they can save a little bit more money because they don't want to. Uh, I had one customer where I charged them a little extra for the delivery fee because it, it was a little bit far. And they asked me, hey, what well, can we pick out the bouncer so you won't have to charge us that much? I told her for safety reasons, I cannot let nobody install my bouncers. All right. But I did call him back after we got done installing the last appointment. I called him back just to make sure everything's okay. I was willing to go back and help them out, move the bouncer. She called, uh, well, I called her and I told her, hey, uh, I was wondering if, if you want me to move the bouncer so the kids can have fun. She said, oh, we already took care of it. And you know, I just wanted to make sure everything is okay. She said, the kids are already jumping, they're having fun. And I just want everybody to be satisfied. That's the that's the thing about me. I don't want a bad name, a bad review on the business. I just want to make sure everybody is satisfied. You know, sometimes you have to go a little bit. Sometimes you have to be nice, you know. And um, normally, normally you will have to charge extra to move a bouncer from one side to another. Once you already install it, now you double working, so you will have to charge extra. But me being nice, I just told him, look, I'll come back and I'll, I'll move it to the other side. You know, that's a new customer too. And they, you know, pretty nice area. So, you know, they got money. But uh, we're done. Everything's done. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's satisfied. All right. So that was the update of the B situation. Um, I gave them permission to move on bouncer. And uh, everything's confirmed. Everybody's having fun. And everybody's satisfied. All right, I'm gonna go inside the house, take a little break, a little nap, and uh, tomorrow I'll be picking up this bouncer. All right, so let's get this money. Let's keep moving. Let's get get it. All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,